Casella Zero Sort Recycling has made it easy for you to do your part to protect our environment by putting all of your recyclables into one container. But before they can become new products, they still need to be separated. And this is how we do it. The recycling is driven to the nearest material recovery facility, otherwise known as a MRF. When it arrives at the facility, all of the recyclables are dumped onto the tipping floor. A loader pushes the material onto the main upfeed belt as it makes its way to the pre-sort area. During pre-sort, large bulky items and non-acceptable material is manually removed from the conveyor. The material makes its way to a three-deck cardboard screen. The larger cardboard surfs over the top of the discs while material smaller than 8 inches falls through the discs and moves onward for further processing. Once the material falls through, the first priority is to extract the glass using a glass breaker disc screen. It's designed to break full or partial glass bottles into pieces 2 inches or less. From there, the glass goes through a glass cleanup system called a zigzag where lighter fractions are sucked off and into the residue. What's left over is a clean glass product where they end up in a large pile waiting to be recycled. Any material larger than two inches, such as plastics, metals, and paper products, move onward for further separation. Next, steel cans are pulled out using a large magnet. The remaining material, which now consists of plastics, aluminum, and paper products continues onward. Paper products, otherwise known as fiber, are separated using our newspaper disc screens, which are sized and angled to enable paper to surf over the top while containers fall below the screen. At this point, we've separated the paper from the remaining containers. The paper is then sent to a quality control area to ensure it meets the specifications of our end sites, such as paper mills. The remaining containers move downstream toward the computerized optical sorters. Each type of plastic has its own DNA and is optically sorted by a combination of cameras, lights, and air jacks. Now it's time to sort out the aluminum. This is done using reverse magnetic polarity, also known as eddy current. The aluminum is extracted and taken to a final quality control inspection before dropping into a bunker. Now that all the various materials have been separated, it's time to make them into bales. The baler compresses the material into cubes called bales and straps them. Each bale weighs between 1,500 and 2,000 pounds. These bales are stored in our warehouse and are now ready to be shipped and made into new products. Most people don't realize that their recycling comes to a facility like this where materials are sorted into commodities to be prepared for market. While much of the sorting is done mechanically, we still rely on people to ensure that the quality of the sorted product meets the standards of our end sites. Company-wide, our greatest concern is the safety of our employees. We go to great lengths to ensure that our equipment and job functions are designed to be as safe as possible. When unacceptable items such as plastic bags, clothing, ropes, and hoses are tossed into your recycling bins, they get tangled in the sorting equipment. It is a dangerous job for someone to climb into the equipment to cut away and remove tangled items. This happens every day and is very easily avoided. Other safety issues we encounter on a daily basis are scrap metals and batteries, which can pose a serious threat of fire on our trucks and in our recycling facilities. We encourage everyone to learn to recycle better so that our operation can work smoothly, people aren't put at risk, and your recyclables are put to a higher and better use. The only items that belong in your recycling bin are empty and clean cardboard, paper, plastic bottles, jugs and tubs, aluminum and steel cans, and glass bottles. Let's recycle better together.